Hey guys, welcome back. I first want to start off with an introduction for those of you that are new to my page and are just starting to follow me. Oh no, 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 not that. Uh, my name is Brad and I'm going to be making an LP about Harvest Moon 64. Harvest Moon 64 was for the Nintendo 64. Came out, I don't remember when. But it's a really cool game and that is why I'm playing it. And today, ah, to this, to this day, it still lives up to its hype. Um, first of all, the game wants me to put in my name. And names are important because it's what the characters are gonna. What? <laughs> what? All right, this ain't no LP. Fine, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna choose my name to be Brad. Choosing your birthday is important because during your birthday you can get special events with uh, some of the bachelorettes inside of the game, and a couple of items are only obtainable by getting them to like you and giving you a birthday present. So yeah, ranch name, I'm gonna name after my wife, Karen. You, got, you gotta be making sound in the background. <laughs> Anywho, alright, my dog's name, I'm gonna name Bruce after my real life dog. Uh, come here, come here. The in-game dog's brown, my real life dog is white, so yeah. All right, so I start off eating some, I think, rice cakes. Yeah. And let's go outside. This is pretty much the tutorial of the game. His name is Thomas, I'm pretty sure. He is the mayor, and he is going to show me around town. But I do not want to be shown around town. All right, I already know the game, and I'm just going to show you guys what the game has to offer. And I'm probably going to keep doing it until I get bored. Um... Probably never gonna get bored. All right, so this is my doggy. You call your doggy with uh, doesn't doesn't even matter. Whatever. Just call my doggy. All right. So first thing you have to do is start off really fast because in this game, actually I think I'm gonna use this. In this game, you have a time limit. The storyline behind this game is that your grandpa died and left you the ranch. So it is up to no. It is up to you to bring back. Uh, come on, it is up. To, you have to bring back the ranch to what it used to be, and um, you you are given I think two or three years. At the end of the sec, end of the second year, some guy. I'm not sure if he's your dad, but some guy shows up and he evaluates all your, the work that you've done. So it is important to start off fast. He judges you based on how much work you've done around your farm, how many animals you have, and your popularity with the townspeople. As well, if you, as, well as if you have a wife and kids and whatever. You can only have one kid. Not, not kids. Okay, so move this rock. So... Yeah, that's me getting tired. Come on. You, you haven't even done work. Rocks? I like to save rocks because they can be used as fencing later on in the game. Once you get cows, you can grow grass outside and use the rocks as fence, as a fence to keep the cows from like wandering off like, over here. And then it's just a pain, but it's it's a cool thing to keep the rocks. I might destroy a couple rocks. Should I? Yeah, I'll destroy a couple rocks. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel right destroying the rocks though. So, oh. All right, that's him getting tired even more. I'm overworking him. He's fat. He's like from the city, so he's not used to the farm work. So yeah, lay off. All right, I got a good amount of stuff going on. With that, I'm gonna go into the town because I am running. To run ah! What is wrong with my speaking today? With my speech? <laughs> With that, I'm going to the town because I'm running out of time and once it gets a little bit late into the day, townspeople start closing up the shop and they go in and I can't see them ever again. Alright, so the first person I want to meet or want to show you guys is Ellie. She is the first bachelorette and she says, Hi, we make our cakes using Granny's recipe. They are great. Try some. She is adorable. Look at her face. But she is one of the most horriblest, pe ah, horriblest people to marry because she goes emo. This little lady dies in the game at a certain event, and she like completely goes crazy. Not crazy. She just gets like really upset. And the like the dialogue is not something you want to read. 
over and over, especially for being married. And she keeps doing it. Like, uh. All right, this second bachelorette, uh, her name is Pap- Papuri or Papuri. I still don't know how to pronounce her name. But she says, "Welcome, and t- to our store, we have many kinds of flowers and vegetable seeds. If you have any questions about vegetables, just ask my mother. She is a flower lady. She loves flowers. So if you go out into the, oh, it's closed. Go into the mountain." Pick some flowers and give it to her. She loves, I think, pink flowers the most. And, of course, I'm running out of time. Told you. Now I have no time to like, meet any of the villagers. They're all probably gone. Well, I guess tomorrow I'll show you the third, fourth, and fifth bachelorette. Oh, shoot. Can I get my horse? Did I miss my horse opportunity? I hope not. Regularly, you're just supposed to um, go this way. Here. And Anne will be here, and she'll give you a horse. I think that's on the first day. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. Hopefully, I haven't messed up the game, and I don't have to record this and pretend I haven't played this game or start it off again and record my voice again. Anywho, let's go over here, and my backpack is full of rocks because I'm a freaking idiot. Talk to this eh, guy chick, and <laughs> he will give you a fishing pole. I will fish. Fishing is extremely important, especially during the winter. It's probably the only way of making money besides picking stuff up. And, come on, here you go. Ah. Uh, I just wasted that flower. Oh, oh, now I did. Whatever. So, you can pick stuff up and give them to people. I guess he doesn't want to accept it. I'm going to eat it, though eat. Yeah, get some energy for tomorrow. If you stay up too like too late, your little character will be more fatigued next day, and there is a possibility of him getting sick and not being able to work the whole day. If you get sick, you're going to get a little cutscene of him being in bed, and you're just pretty much going to skip a whole day, and that sucks. Ah, oh, crap, my dog needs food. The, <laughs> the max amount of number, or the max amount of time that you can stay up is till 6 p.m., 6 a.m. in the morning. After that, um, the game will automatically put you into bed. Hopefully, I can show you guys my skill, my fishing skill. Come on. Oh, freak, I suck. Although, fishing is cool because you get to collect these cool. Oh, come on, I thought I got it that time. You get these cool little fishies. I just love, like, I love the animation and, like, the artwork of the fish. <sighs> and I love feeding the fish to my dog. Seriously, I'm gonna stay up all night long for a fish. <laughs> yes! See? A small fishy. Okay. So, since I have no room in my backpack or my rucksack, I'm just gonna carry this to my farm and give it to my doggy. Giving food to your dog and calling him increases the liking for you in your dog's eyes. This is important as well. There is a ton of content in this, in this game. The more that your dog likes you, the better he will do in dog racing. Yeah, there is dog racing in this game. And you get rewards for coming in first, second, or third and some of the rewards are really cool. They're decorations for your house. But enough about that. Let me, just let me play the game, damn it. <laughs> Keep becoming like a narrator. Okay, so let me put the rocks back, because I don't want the rocks. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Dude, I freaking missed a ton of work the first day. Ah, I was supposed to have turnips by now. Or at least growing. Alright, put that here. Hopefully I don't get sick. I don't think I will. Come on. Time passes by really quick in this game. And um, you just have to manage your time really good. I'm a pretty good manager of time, I think. Right? Even though I stood up like till 5 a.m. looking for a fish for my dog. Come on. 
I don't like I don't really know what to say. Mostly this game is if you want to take a break from like first person shooters, MMOs, and just like take it slow. This game is a slow paced game and you can do whatever you like. Um It's just nature, you know, it's like a farm simulator. What what else do you expect? Alright, so most shops I believe when I checked her door are open at nine. It's nine now. Let me just get rid of this weed. Weed. Weed on my farm. Wow. Is that how you... No, never mind. I'm not going to say anything. My mailbox. No, no mail. No one loves him. No one loves him as of now. Alright, so let me show you another bachelorette. She is the... I don't know if she's the coolest, but she's really cool. Alright, so you come over here to the vineyard. The vineyard. Uh, vineyard. And her name is Karen. Surprise. Gosh, what a terrible father. You should let me have my way. She's rebellious. And her father, I'm assuming, is supposed to be like a drunk. Because he's mean. Like, for no reason. And I, I don't know. I always assumed that he was a drunk. The girl who just rushed out is Miss Karen. The master's daughter. She says she wants to leave, and they always quarrel. Alright, this guy, I freaking hate him. This is how it plays out. Pretty much, if you want to marry Karen, you have to do it early in the game. If you wait, I think, more than two years, or maybe it's half a year, and you have a strong relationship with Kai, the guy with the purple bandana, and Karen, Kai marries Karen. And it's like insult to injury, like, ah, you know, if, if, if you want to marry Karen. But another thing that happens is if you have a strong relationship with her and you choose the wrong dialogue, she actually gets on the boat and leaves for the city. She leaves the game, eliminating one of the bachelorettes. Besides that, this is Anne. Uh, she loves horses and animals in general. Marriage-wise, she's alright. She's kind of useless. She's the tomboy. Yeah, she's the tomboy. Wait here a minute. I've married them all. Yeah, all. Not at one time. This guy, her brother, is a douche. Um, he doesn't like me. And even when he likes me, he kind of acts like a jerk, but yeah. These people have like money like to spend because they just give me a horse off the bat. Like, who are you? Oh, you're that new guy at the farm? Here, have a horse. Like, yeah, okay. Oh crap, what did I just accept to? I think it's just to accept the horse. Thank you. Do your best and win the next race. It's impossible to win the race. Alright, so my horse's name is gonna be Skippy. Yeah, that's fine, Skippy. Don't mark my Skippy name. Yay, it fits perfectly. Yes. Alright, Skippy, huh? That's a good name. Please can take good care of him. You can put like bad names in there, like naughty words. She'll still say they're good names. She's, yeah, she's optimistic. All right, well, here is a very important part of the game because you get to buy chickens, chickens and cows. Son of a... It's Thursday, of course. All right, so I did some work on my farm. Time to go here. And then there's one last bachelorette, but I'll get to her in a minute. Right now, I just want to buy some turnip seeds, and whoa, is that supposed to be like that? All right, whatever. These are turnip seeds. They grow the fastest. One package costs... Okay, I'll take one. This is Poppery's mother. I think she'd make a better bachelorette. So you're going to run the farm, eh? That means you'll be a customer. Nice to meet you then. Yeah. She's going to take up most of your money, but in return, she'll make you money. Whoa, what the heck? She was like glitching. All right, Thomas the mayor. Uh, there's an old... Crumb, like cranky guy here, and some guy that looks like a chick. And this chick. In my opinion, she is a very cute chick to marry. Hello, hello. I'm the receptionist at the library. My name is Maria. Nice to meet you. Can you imagine working here? Look, it's like freaking poor as hell. She's got no cashier. She, I don't think she has a seat. And these, there are lots of fairy tales and picture books here. There are a lot of books on cooking and knitting here. There are a lot of difficult books here. 
Okay, well, I don't want to spoil what marriage life with her is because I think I'm going to choose her to marry. And because I chose her to marry... Ah, crap. I don't even remember the first thing she likes. Anywho, yeah, that's who I'm going to marry. Look at the kitties! Kitties! You can take the cats. They're not... You know, I'm going to rob your cat. Yeah, I'm going to rob it. Hey, you want a cat? Oh, hello. Will you be staying for a while? Oh, for good. On the farm. Very impressive for such a young man. Work hard and good luck. You just ignore my cat. How cute! Yeah. Yeah, I think there is something wrong with the game. Who cares? Oh, this is a doggy. Taking the dog. Here, doggy. Be my dog's friend. Bark, bark. <laughs> okay, whatever. Crap, dude, I only have a hundred, like, G's. There's a way to set up the the alignment, 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 and, um, oh yeah, that guy's the guy that collects stuff, he's super buff, and he just collects the stuff and gives you money. I don't know how, like, he just gets money. You got tired from this, you're such a weenie. Alright, well, let's water my crops. All right, I think I'm gonna overwork my guy. Yeah, we're gonna go. Oh, doggy! Get along! Get along! I'm pretty sure I missed a cutscene with Karen somewhere. Crap! There's like a couple cutscenes that are only obtainable, like if you do certain things during the day. And I think I messed up on them. My pads kind of like messed up. Every time I push up, I whistle. Because I hit left instead of all the way up. Whatever. Okay, there's more people that I haven't introduced you guys to. They're all my friends. They're all gonna be my friends. Look at me climb a tree! Pretty cool stuff, right? And then check this out. Parkour! Is it parkour or parkour? George? Parkour? That sounds like hardcore. <laughs> I want to parkour. I'm good at parkouring. What was that video? Of that guy that tried parkouring and it didn't turn out so well for him. He was fat. <laughs> and he like jumped over a car and he fell. <laughs> oh! Oh, 21 Jump Street. Alright, anywho. So, I brought this food for my doggy. I'm going to give him weed. Here you go. Enjoy your weed. And let's see. The night is young, I can do I can do a couple crap stuff, yeah. I'm gonna get rid of the stumps. If anything, if you wanna get rid of anything, the best thing to get rid of on your land are the stumps. The stumps take space and they're pretty much useless. Well, not useless, because they do give you wood if you cut them up. And wood goes into your lumber bin. Your lumber bin is located like on top of your something, your farm, and you use the lumber to make fences. Come on, man! Use that wood. Oh, wait. I mean, use that ah, axe. Yeah! Alright, I think that's good enough. Yeah, I think. Nah, you know what? Oh, crap! It's freaking 4 a.m. in the morning. What the hell? Oh, parkour back home. Cool. Alright, go sleepies. And wake up again for rice cakes. In later versions of the game, you can actually choose what you eat. In this one, you only get rice cakes. Even when you're married. Like, you still get rice cakes. Rice cakes. Rice cakes. Here, hang on, let me give... I think these weeds are worth more than the grapes, but whatever. Have more weed, my little doggy. Pick them up, put them down, call them. Hi, right, puppy! Make him run for some exercise. I'm gonna show you guys dog racing. It's it's weird. I always lose in those stupid games. There's a glitch you can use to like bet on dogs an infinite amount of times, but I don't think I'm gonna be using glitches because then that like ruins the whole point of the game. I think maybe I don't know. I wonder how long this LP is gonna be because 
this game continues on endlessly. After you beat or after you get to your objective, it keeps going. It, it, it doesn't stop. I've gone to like year 50 or 74 and uh, no one ages, nothing changes besides you keep getting rich and you keep getting stuff for your house. Eh, go figure, right? I just took a piss. It, is my dog a ghost? I can see through him. What the hell? Oh man, I've been... I've been giving him too much weed. Alright. Okay. There is something I want to get in my farm that you can only get by hoeing down your farm. I'm going to hoe my farm. Come on. Hoe you. Hoe you. No. No time. No time for... Crap, what time is it? Oh, it's already the middle of the day. What the heck? This freaking time goes too fast. Okay, so I have made absolutely no money and no progress. I just got a couple flowers and... <gasps> I'm gonna go get the flowers to the chick. Maria, if I haven't mentioned her name, Maria is a library receptionist and I think she's freaking adorable. Like, some of the faces she makes are just freaking worth marrying her. Like, check this out. Like, Karen's also freaking... I think she she's gorgeous, but... Some of the faces that she makes are just freaking awesome. Karen loves berries because she's an alcoholic. <laughs> what do you have to say? <laughs> I'd be happy if you visit the library between jobs. <gasps> See? She already likes me. The little heart at the very bottom right of the corner indicates where you stand on their relationship. White meaning neutral. Oh, it's blue. Okay. I need that, but I have no money. This is Rick. Hello, we rarely get new items, but drop by sometimes. I'm Rick, nice to meet you. You know why you get, like, no items? Because you suck at selling. And his inventions suck. I think in the game, you can buy a teleporter. It, yeah, he shows up and he introduces you to a teleporter. And he, like, trans teleports a tomato, but it freezes. And... It hints to eventually being able to unlock it, but I don't think it was ever put in the game. Um, because I remember playing like 74, the 74th year, and what? <laughs> and stop laughing! And I don't ever remember seeing the teleporter. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. If you don't like some of the townspeople, it's still important that you give them gifts. Oh wow, thank you very much. Because, eh, like I said, in the end, when you get your evaluation, it's important that you have as many people on your side. I didn't even pay attention to what he said, but who cares, here's a flower. Okay. Oh, 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 I think the old lady dies if you love her. So here you go. What a good job, thank you, Brad. How do you know my name? Hi, Brad, you sure look like your grandpappy. Were they married? They weren't married. No, they weren't married. No. Okay. So, we gotta go over here. Damn, dude! Time's almost up. Uh, let's see. Let's see, what am I gonna do? Oh, Harris! Oh, Harris is my rival. Unfortunately, I chose Maria, and he is the anti-Maria lover. Or, he loves Maria. He eventually starts to meet her, uh, like, like her. And he's gonna make me actually give her a letter or something. Thank you very much. He's a very cheerful dude, and by all means, I don't hate him, but I freaking hate that he likes my chick that I'm gonna marry. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be his enemy. I'm his arch nemesis. Uh, sucks for him. Sucks for you, bro. Come on, let's go. All right, is that the chick guy? Uh, the guy? I think I don't know. These guys are carpenters. They're your traditional Japanese carpenters. I think they're Japanese. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, they're like extremely happy all the time. They love to work. Like, hey man, let's go work. <laughs> and eventually in the winter, they will offer me like jobs and be like, dude, you tired? And I'm like, yeah, I'm freaking tired. I, I don't want to work. And like, come on, work. And then they like bait you into working. Oh, I love this place. Here, have a flower. There's something that happens here. I know that. And it's one of my favorite. Is it time to get ready already? I don't want to go to work. Real work. Real work. Um, caves, but I don't have enough room in my rucksack. So let's go back home. All right. 
Do the weed. Die. Okay. Crap. I know I'm missing some stuff. Oh, I gotta feed my plants. I fed my dog, right? Yeah, my dog's fed. Call my horse. Give him some exercise. Right now, he's a small pony. Oh, I have to talk to him to make him love me. He's a small pony, so he's not gonna be rideable. If that sounds right. Right, right. Oh. He gets bigger later. Okay, so water this, water that. Be careful when you're using your tools. If you're playing, if, you know, if you're just watching me play, just remind myself to be careful with the tools. You can hit your animals. I feel like a freaking abuser if I do that. Stop following me. Stop freaking following me. Can't you see I'm trying to work here? Siri, Siri, go. Oh, that is a bad sign. That means he is feeling bad. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to get sick. So, I better return. Do I have any seeds in here? No. All right. So, I gotta at least get Maria's heart to, I think, purple? In order for her to give me my birthday present in summer. Oh, crap. Birdies! Alright, so... My turnips are growing well. I'm still broke as hell. It doesn't matter. I got water. And weed. Water and weed. You can't go wrong with that. Right, George? Right? No? Well, my dog seems to think that. Alright. Get my weed out. Th this isn't weed, by the way. It's like medical herbs. <laughs> it, it, it just happened to be... Oh, if you press Z while you're holding something, check this out. Oh, that's not Z. Hang on. Camera angle. This. Bruce. It's like I analyzed my dog, Bruce. Here you go, Bruce. Go inside your house. He never goes inside of uh, inside of his house. I think you can get an upgrade. <gasps> you can. Oh damn! You can get a little mansion. All right, so Maria, baby, I'm coming. Crap! I gotta get like <sighs> the drugstore. They don't sell drugs. They sell medical herbs. And you said looking bad for me. I think your grandpa's here. Yeah, he's right there. It's uh, pretty creepy, but yeah. Ooh, cute. Be friends with the with the children too. The children like you. Ah! Drive's done. All right, Maria, I'm coming. I made a promise to you, Maria. All right, here you go. Thank you very much. I know she loves something. Ah, if anyone knows what she loves, please tell me. I don't want to look it up on Google. It feels like I'm cheating. I want to play hardcore. It's like hardcore Harvest Moon. Yeah! I'm giving you all my money. Holy crap, am I broke? No, never mind. Wait, I, well, I am, but I, I thought I had like zero Gs. I'm assuming Gs stand for, 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 for gorilla. Is it money? <laughs> I know what it stands for gold. Or maybe. Jeez. Okay, so even though I have to get her thing to a purple heart, I mean like Maria, the important thing for me to do right now, I think, is go over here and oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know the answer is make some money by selling some of the stuff that I find in the mountains. Why? Because I need to have more crops. The crops that I have right now, the turnips grow really fast. This is the medicine guy. Make sure to friend him. Um, he'll give you, like, strong medicine stuff. He's the one in the drug deal. I mean, drugstore. So, <laughs> well, thank you very much. Give him the herbs, or the weed, and the weed he will like. This will help me a lot. He will become your best friend and eventually make, like, really strong uh, dr drugs. He calls them drugs. I'm pretty sure he calls them drugs. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. Thank you. She is, I believe, the second person that's easiest to marry because she loves flowers. Flowers, flowers, or flowers. Uh, Karen being the first because she loves... Uh, the hell she loves? I don't, I don't know. She loves your dog. There's this glitch where you go to the bar and you show her, like, show her your dog. Oh, I'm retarded. I hope you don't think bad of me. You show her dog various times, and eventually she, like, loves you just because of the dog. It's a glitch. It's a stupid glitch, but it works. I'm not going to do it. 
Maybe I should. No, 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 no. Hardcore, remember. Hardcore Harvest Moon. Okay. You know, I think I've been goofing off too much. I've done goofed. <laughs> Where's that from? <laughs> Is it? I thought it was from, like, the Goofy movie. There are certain times of the day where it's best to go fishing. Obviously, I have chosen the wrong time. Because I'm not catching anything. No. Anything? Come on, hurry up, I gotta get home. Serious? Oh, my goodness. There is a lot of content to this game. So if you want to play, I definitely recommend you pick up the emulator. Um, I have an actual hard copy. I'm playing it on my computer, though. Yeah, what, whatever, man. You try finding a copy. <laughs> I only got one. The copies are pretty rare, and they can range from like fifty to a hundred dollars. So yeah. So you know, don't hate if I'm playing on my computer. I don't care. What you can do, huh? Are you can disturb my fishing. I freaking suck at fishing. Yay! I think fishing is extremely good in the morning and in the evening. Um, any other time and it's kind of slow. So just letting you know. Yeah. Come on. Come on. And random guess now. Oh, I was wrong. When the, when the crickets stop and everything gets quiet, I'm assuming it's like midnight and after. Yeah. When the crickets stop and it gets like quiet, it's midnight. So I'm out in. Oh, I missed my fish. I should do like a, a let's play of Animal Crossing. Right, George? It's a fun game. It's addicting. Fudge. I don't like how I have hordes, though. Like in Animal Crossing, why the hell do I have horns? Am I. Am I oh! Oh, damn! Check this guy out. This guy's a whopper! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna show you something cool later. As of now, though, I think I should go home. Yeah, time to go home. He's a wild, he's a big guy. He sells for a good amount. I love catching those blue fishes. You get a fridge later in the game, and I stuff my fridge full of fishies. And I don't know why I got like an addiction to fish in games. I don't really like fish, like in real life. If some of you guys love fish and you think I'm a monster because I don't love fish, I'm sorry. They're just so fishy. Something fishy about fish. I know they're healthy, but so is broccoli, but I don't eat it. <laughs> Throw out my, my tomato slices out the window. <laughs> Sue me. Oh, I got to talk to my horse. Did I water my plants? Yeah, I water my plants. The most important thing you can do is in the morning is water your plants or go fishing ASAP. Like, save all the crap for the end of the day, I think. That's what works best for me. Good sleepies. 